Hello, hello. Ultrawick Talks Cars, hope you're keeping well. So this video is a follow on from the previous one, which you'll see up here, where we talked about uh, the drive modes in this BMW 330i G20. Uh, so I'm going to today at last have the opportunity of taking the car out, uh, trying the drive modes for you. And actually what I want to do is see if they make any difference, particularly to the acceleration times, because having driven this car for, I didn't say on there, for 18,000 miles or so, uh, I'm a little bit skeptical that they do make any difference. So today's the day to find out. Now, I have got another video, as you'll see, I just pointed to, that takes you through in a bit more detail, but I just very quickly wanted to refresh your memory here. Uh, so the three modes that are available to you here are Sport, Comfort and Eco Pro. I'm going to get Eco Pro out of the way straight away because it's horrendous. So Eco Pro, uh, you get the options here of standard, or individual, you can configure individual, so it gives you some choices here of really how bad you want it to be. Um, so if I go down to configure individual, um, you've got all sorts of stuff. So you can set the maximum speed. Uh, it, it messes about with the climate control as well and the lights and all sorts. Um, you can set the driving dynamics. Uh, so the steering um, can be set to sport or comfort. Now I have to say, uh, I've maybe covered this again in a while, but I've never noticed the steering in this car varying between the sport modes. So maybe I'm just not very uh, attuned to it, but it doesn't seem to make any difference to me. Anyway, we'll come on to that um, in a moment. So that's your Eco Pro. What Eco Pro also does is it gives you that weird little gizmo down there. Now, apparently I have been reading a bit up on this. What it does, where, it, where you see the little blue numbers that go plus something, something miles. In theory, it shows you how many miles you've gained on uh, your fuel by using Eco Pro. Now, my experience of that is um, the answer is absolutely none. And although it doesn't allude to it anywhere, it clearly just remaps the car, but it feels to me like it cuts three of the four cylinders out and like you're towing a, uh, a caravan full of elephants. Uh, it really significantly seems to affect the performance. However, I've got a suspicion that if you kick the car right down, it throws it out of Eco Pro mode and you just get the normal um, comfort acceleration. So I'm going to try that again for you in a minute because that'll be a good experiment. So yeah, so the messaging there is ignore Eco Pro. Uh, comfort is the setting that this car spends most of its time in, most of its 18,000 miles, I guess, have been in comfort. Uh, again, you, oh, in theory, you get, um, you should get a little, um, you should get a little logo in there that says you're in comfort. But anyway, we are in comfort. Uh, balance setting BMW call it and it is pretty balanced it will do you 99% of the time um, and it's a, a decent compromise I think between uh, going a bit nuts and uh, getting some reasonable uh, economy out of the car then of course the one that everyone's more interested in is sport uh, you've got standard sport uh, which gives you I guess a um, a, a, a medium hot version of the sport mapping and the other things that go with it. You've then got Sports Plus, which is the uh, everything's turned up to 11 mode, um, which is a bit crazy. Uh, and then you've got again individual, so you can configure that. And again, steering, mm, not sure about that. Uh, engine in sport, transmission in sport, you know, it's DEFCON 1, that one, or DEFCON 3, whichever the top one is. Um, that's everything turned up. Um, and we'll try that one again uh, in a minute. So, um, yeah, stand by. I've got my little um, Ulysses app here, which. Uh, I've just started to try. Now, in theory, with this, I'll give you a little separate review on this when I get round to it. But in theory, on this look, you've got uh, a 0 to 60 time calculator, and that will enable me to see if there's actually any difference between uh, the modes, particularly when you're accelerating to 60. Now, luckily, um, I've got a, uh, I know a farmer who's got a nice um, straight 
uh, drive, which is about a mile long, which um, he's happy for me to, to use. So I won't be endangering uh, life and limb for sure doing this. So please rest assured. Uh, okay, um, give me a sec. We'll get prepped up and we'll, um, we'll we'll try the various modes and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start in comfort and no dramatics. Uh, let's see how we get on. So there you go, 6.04 seconds. So it's not a million miles to be fair off what BMW claim for this car normally, which I think is about 5.8 or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad, is it? So that was comfort. Uh, I'll turn around in a sec and then we'll give uh, well, let's have a laugh and give the Eco Pro a go. I suspect it won't make any difference actually, because I'm pretty sure when you kick down, it just throws you back into um, sort of panic mode anyway. So we'll, we'll, we shall see. So bear with me, I'll come back to you. So here's our standard Eco Pro start. Let's go. go as I thought Eco Pro which is so horrible in normal driving mode when you stick your foot right down it just defaults to I presume to comfort because I've got 6.2 um, there in Eco Pro mode which I think from memory is pretty much the same as comfort wasn't it I believe anyway let's have a return leg and we will try uh, sport mode in fact we'll try sport plus which is the uh, you know the crazy nutter version see if that makes any difference and then uh, conditions allowing here um, I'm going to try uh, launch control which I've not actually done on this car before because genuinely I haven't um, punished this car in any way it's been been gently used over the last year, I think 10,000 miles. So, anyway, bear with and uh, we'll try Sport Plus next. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's check we're in Sport Plus. Let's get that going. And here we go. difference 5.07 and actually that was score what was I in there oh it was score plus okay 5.07 then so that does make a difference doesn't it what was I definitely in sports plus now as an individual so let's try plus I don't think it'll make any difference because I think individual was configured as plus anyway, so I'm not sure we're going to improve on 5.07. Okay. But, you know, the point is made, it's double quick this car, it really is. Okay, so let's see what the uh, launch control is all about then. So I've got traction control off already. Um, I basically need to come to a stop. I basically need to chuck it into that. And then I need to do this. That was 6.1. Let's try that. Oh, I can't try it. I have to wait five minutes apparently, according to the book. Puts unnecessary stress on the components. Please wait five minutes. Um, which sort of defeats the object a bit, isn't it? But anyway, let's do as we're told. 
some of the car that take 5.07 or thereabouts to get to 60. Anyway, you don't have to because I can tell you here are some. Pretty decent, eh, for a, um, you know, a compact executive as they like to call them. Um, you know, that's not too shabby, I don't think, if I'm honest. Anyway. Uh, the only thing occurs to me that I haven't done yet is another sport option that I've never really quite understood is where you, you flip the stick over and that gives you this manual um, stroke sport mode. Now manual you can you can flick through the gears up and down um, with the stick. You've obviously also got the paddles um, on the steering wheel. Is I'd like to try as we've got some, um, as we're out doing this, I'd like to try the acceleration in this other sport mode. I'm going to put it in comfort, flick it over to sport and see what we get with that. So again, bear with me while I turn around and we'll have a crack at that. So I've had a quick look in the old magic book, which is massive by the way, look at that. And loads in there. Look, that keep you going all week reading that like a lot. Um, and I was right with this gear selector malarkey um, is the idea is if you bang that into um, if you bang that into sport like that is that it gives you a sporty program now I've got an S1 up here on the display because that is clearly another sport mode I'm not sure how that conflicts with the um, sport mode which is on the button here um, whether the same or different god knows uh, but let's give it a go and see what we can do so I'm in that I'm in sport mode um, I've got an S1 on my readout which is first here sport um, gonna get in position and reset that and go it just doesn't seem to take off. It's the first little bit. The first little bit, 6.03, well that's a lot better. Um, but it's still a second, getting on for a second shy of um, where we were with uh, the sport individual mode. So interesting, lots of options is the point lots to play with you can spend your whole days um, when you're allowed out a bit more but not really to go anywhere playing with that should you want uh, so interesting stuff so i hope you found that interesting if you have there's lots more like this to come now we can get out and about a bit so please hit subscribe um, i've got 10 subscribers at the moment i'd love to get to 100 because that would make me a happy happy old bloke uh, so if you can help me with that, I'd be eternally grateful. Stay safe, get you as much exercise today as you're allowed to now, and I'll see you soon.